can that be? Yet, they are asking you and myself to pay to have a, 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 an alarm in our house. That if anybody interrupts it, it will ring at the police headquarters. I don't think any of us have more than one million pounds in our house. But here is a vote whereby billions of diamonds are kept. And they had time to break into it. What happened to the bank system? What happened to the security? Except the Lord washed over. Amen. And let the watchman keep watch in vain. Thank God that our life is all dependent on the police. Thank God that our life is hidden in Christ Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How to build? I want you to take a very short story. In the, I believe in the 1860, the St. Paul Cathedral was commissioned to be rebuilt because I believe it was damaged in the London fire. Am I right? But am I right? So, and a famous architect, Sir Christopher Wren, was commissioned to uh, rebuild it. So he hired many laborers. And one day, it was, it was said that uh, Christopher Wren went to the side, he disguised. And he was talking to the laborers. He asked one laborer, what are you doing? He said, I'm carving out a pillar. He asked another laborer, what are you doing? He said, I'm adding a few shillings. <laughs> then he asked the third laborer, what are you doing? He said, I am helping Christopher Wren to build a magnificent cathedral to the glory of God. So, if you and myself want to build a lasting family, we need to have the mindset of the third labor, that we are co-laborers with God, building a godly family, building a healthy family, building a harmonious family for the glory of God. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. That's the first mindset we need to have. The mindset of a labor, but a co-labor. And everything we do in our family must come from the Father. We are just co-laborers. We have a senior partner. For we are God's fellow workers. You are God's people. You are God's building. Thank you, sir. And the second thing we need to understand that as we are co-laborer, we have a senior partner, and Zechariah chapter 4 verse says that it is not by power, nor by mass, but by my spirit. None of us can make our marriage work. We are not smart enough. None of us can raise, raise a, su a successful children. We are not smart enough. Do you know, women, let me ask you something. If you think, oh, I'm beautiful, I'm very pretty. When I walk on the street, head tones, fine, you are beautiful. Thank God for your life. You might be some of those ladies when God finishes, say, hmm, <laughs> it is good. But one day, the law of gravity will set in. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and the law of gravity is beauty makes a marriage. The beauty brings to have the best marriage, it's true of us. But we know they don't. So women will say, oh, you know what? I got it together. She, I can, listen, I can keep any man on the bed. I am, I, listen, I am better than the playboys. If that keeps a marriage, the prostitute will have the best marriage. Yes. Yes. So women will say, you know what? My mother brought me up. I know that the, the, the way to a man's heart is through his belly. I can cook cake, I can cook cousins, I can cook jollof rice. If that is the case, the cake will have the best one. Yes. Yes. Actually, I have an uncle. <coughs> He studied here in England with his wife. They went back to Nigeria. Very wealthy man. Has um, um, servants, uh, uh, chauffeurs, everything. But his wife cannot boil an egg. Mm. If the wife boils an egg, the egg will burn. My uncle will her anyway. Do you know in Africa how they do? 
and the baby has two heads. What happened to the baby? Then you take off one head or the baby dies. So how come your home? God said clearly the man is the head of the home. And don't you know that you are the neck? And if you don't turn the head cannot turn. Amen. Do you not know that God has given man position, but gave woman influence? Yes. Don't compete with your husband. That must be. Listen, if there is no cap, look, look at the flame that crashed. Because one cap, there, there are two captains. I wonder why they put two captains on a plane. So you need to honor your husband and submit to your husband. And encourage your husband and tell him he can do it. Let me tell you something. There is a, look at the state of this country. Men are in Africa. They have good jobs. When they come here, they can't find a job. He's a wicked spirit. He's a wicked spirit. Listen, I have been on several interview panels. And the last one I prayed and God helped me. When men come, they have qualification. No, they will give the job to, they rather give the job to a woman. They want to empower you to disable your husband. You need to be smarter than that. You need to be smarter than that. You need to know that you are his helper. You can hand 100,000. The woman can hand 10,000 pounds. No, he is your husband. And if you dishonor him, if you dishonor him, let me tell you something. In a house where men are dishonored, the children don't respect anybody. There must be a structure. There must be a structure. Christian women arise and create a structure in your home. And raise your children to honor their, their, their fathers. Look at the London riot. They were crying. We have London riot. How come the young uh, uh, people don't even uh, 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 fear the police? The, the, the police we are coming. They we are telling them. I said, no way. You created the Frankenstein monster. Live with him. You have brainwashed the children. Authority does not matter. Disrespect your parents. Disrespect teachers. How you want to obey policemen? No way. But as a Christian woman, remember, to build a lasting family, you know, to create in your own home law and not based on principle. Your husband is the head, you are supported, and your children, everything together. If you are the one buying everything in your house, whatever you buy in your house, tell your, your child, Daddy gave me money to buy this. Amen. Daddy gave money to buy this. Is very, very important. That's how to build a lasting family because you are building according to the biblical principle. Because listen, in Hebrew chapter uh, 3, uh, verse 4, he said, For every house is built, for, 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 for every house is built, but Christ is the master builder. No one of us can build a family. It's very important. So, women, encourage your husband. Be on your knees, because the heart of all men are in the hand of God. Praise God. And men, I plead with you, please, according to Ephesians chapter 5, love your wife. Love your wife. Listen, you marry your wife's as age, <laughs> life, change, life happens to us women, and we become a bound. <laughs> we become a bound. Listen, you need to understand that, you know what? She is your destiny helper. Your wife is your destiny helper. And I tell you something, the poor white person, one woman, with all the appraisals, her beauty was never mentioned. It was her character, her attitude. Praise God. The, the man of God, when he thanked God for his life, I respect him more. Remember he was divorced from his wife? Yeah. And they were to, they, 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 they now remarried. Yeah. He made a test when he said that, when he, before his wife divorced him, he didn't appreciate his wife. He thinks he's Benny mm -hmm. God has called Benny Hill. Ben Hill, no, 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 no. But when the wife divorced him, he suddenly found out that this woman had been his glory. Men, please appreciate the wife that God has given you. She's your destiny helper. Malachi 2 says that God is acting as a witness between you and the wife of your youth. Whatever you do to your wife, you are doing it to God, and you need to you will be accountable to God. All the highway to the grave women, we are in the tongues. Size 12, Jezebels, destiny records. The Lord rebuked them in Jesus' name. The Lord rebuked them in Jesus' name. And let me tell you that, that, 
that is, this is a real life story. A man came back in Africa and told his wife and said, Daddy, a devil came to my office today. <laughs> One of his workers, because he is a general manager, came into his office, locked the door, and flat wasn't wearing a pant. The man that he began to swear, he said, oh baby, you know what? You are more than that. I've actually been admiring you. Let's, let's pack up and go to the hotel. When the lady opened the door, he left it. <laughs>
Make him for the very destructive. Yes. Deliver your child from technology. Deliver your child from woman. Mothers, arise and stand. Arise and stand. And deliver your child. Make sure that your child is engaged. God will give you the wisdom in Jesus' name. Yes. Do, not have, do not have a digitally divisive family. It's very important. I was talking because I just came back from, I was talking yesterday that, listen, when we eat, no telephone. Yeah. Once we come into the house, no mobile phone, nothing. If it's an emergency, call Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me just agree with you before I leave. Children, children, let me tell you something. We need God to raise up. If you have three children, you have three different destinies. Mm -hmm. So you cannot treat James the way you treat John. You cannot treat John the way you treat Peter. The Spirit of God chooses the womb to develop a child. You need to ask him, like Manuel's wife. You need to ask the Holy Spirit, how do I deal with this child? Give me wisdom. He will give you wisdom. Then I have wisdom. Holy Spirit, please hold her heart. When, when I speak to him, Listen, one day in the bath, I had someone to me. You want to say to me, if you want to get a message to anybody faster, you speak to me. As I was thinking, you know God knows our mind. What did you say? Because you speak to the man's ear, but I speak to their heart. And the heart of all men, and in the hand of God. You always pray for your child that God, the Holy Spirit will help your child to yield his or her heart to the Holy Spirit. God is faithful. He said in Isaiah 54 verse, and teach your children. And great will be your children, peace. Listen, in closing, I was I was, I had a, I had a lunch with a pastor friend. She's she she she's a Ghanaian pastor. She gave me a testimony that really encouraged me. She said that when she was growing up in Ghana, her mother is an illiterate. Her mother could not read or write, but her mother gave her life to Christ and he used to call people to read to her. And whenever they read Bible to her, he held onto it. He said her mother told her that, you see, I, I don't keep Bible on my head, I will forget, but I keep it in my heart. Yes. He said, late in the night, her, her mother will be praying with the verses they have taught her. Say, her father doesn't go to church, her father will be saying, listen, you better go to bed, you know your mother. She has started. Today, seven children, they are all ministers. Yes. 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 Praying woman, yes. but what do you do? Do you spend your time watching Desperate Wife? By the time you finish watching it, you become desperate. <laughs> By the time you finish watching it, you become desperate. <laughs> you spend your time on Facebook, <laughs> wasting your time. You spend your time on mobile phone. No, a praying woman on your knees Amen. before the Lord, Amen. like Susanna Wesley, on your knees. I, listen, as you raise your children up, you are building a monument for them. Mm -hmm. Do you not know that in Hebrews chapter 1, verse 14, that angels have been assigned to you as your ministry? Angels, they only obey the word of God. They only obey the word of God. Her brother is an overseer. She's a pastor. All of them, their father gave his life to Christ, became an evangelist. He too could not read or write, but God did them to plant so many churches, that is what can you do. That is a family. A family that prays together, lives together. A family altar, altars a family. Have a family altar mm -hmm. with your family. If your husband doesn't pray, don't worry, pray for him. Mm -hmm. You know men think they are God, pray for him. <laughs> <laughs> men think they are God, don't worry, pray for him. When you gather on the family altar with your children, share the word of God. Because it is the word of how can a young man keep his way pure? It's only by hiding the word of God in their heart. Don't raise your children to fear you. If you raise them to fear you, they will be nice, nice when they are within your vicinity. But if you raise them to fear God, then whether they turn to the right or to the left, they will hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. Telling them this is the way. So go. Let us rise up and pray. Yes, one and two. 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 Yes,